So this is what I'm doing today. We use a lot of oil with all the equipment we have around the farm. And I, you know, I, I definitely dispose of it properly, but lately I haven't been getting rid of it because I find miscellaneous uses for it that, you know, are good to reuse oil. Now, I don't want nasty oil or dirty oil. So in the cases of where I can, you know, practically use filtered oil, I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna keep some, you know, keep some in the garage, maybe a couple five gallon buckets, you know, miscellaneous things. But again, I want this oil to be filtered. So what I've done is I got this five gallon bucket, it's an old oil bucket. I have drilled a three quarter inch hole in that and I'm going to fashion up just a, you know, kind of a rigged up filter on this. So this, I got this, I'm gonna put a couple gaskets or O-rings on this. So that way I'm gonna put this actually inside the bucket and I'm gonna put those together and put, like I said, a couple O-rings or two rubber seals to seal this off so it doesn't leak. Tighten that on there real nice and tight. So this will be on the outside of the bucket. This will then have a little bit of a gravity drop. Go to here, this is just a standard filter housing for, it actually came off an old fuel filter that I had, but it still serves the same purpose. This is a brand new oil filter that went to an old tractor that I had. I don't have that anymore. So this new filter is nice and clean and I can use it for this purpose. Then again, these are just a couple irrigation risers here. And then here's an irrigation elbow. So essentially what's gonna happen is the oil will slowly, by gravity, go down through here. It will slowly go through the filter, I'm hoping, and then come out this way and then come down and I'm gonna put it on these saw horses, kinda like you see it here. And I'm gonna put a cloth top on this. So that way when I pour it in, it catches anything big, which there shouldn't be because most of the oil comes you know, right out of the, the equipment into a oil container and then I either put it in the garage or all, you know, off to the recycling center. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how well this oil comes out. This is the adapter that I'm gonna put inside the bucket. I used a three quarter inch bit to cut that, but I had to actually make it a little bit bigger. So I used that same three quarter inch bit to kind of wallow it out a little bit. It's plastic, so it cuts pretty easy but you will have to wallow it out if you use a three quarter inch. You may have to use a little bit bigger bit. So then I took this adapter and I put two thick O-rings that I'm gonna squish it in on the inside and push it against that plastic. You know, it's kind of concave a little bit there. So I'm going to push this through. So hopefully it seats well. And on the outside, I'm gonna do a couple O-rings on the outside of these threads before I put this pipe on. So then of course I'm gonna put some Teflon on it too and then I'll wrap it together, hopefully make a good, nice seal in the bucket. All right, to add a little detail to this, if you don't cut that hole too big and you get it just right, I mean, this thing threaded into the bucket, I mean, just making that hole just a little bit bigger than three quarter inch. So it's actually threaded and holding pretty well. Of course, you know, it's gonna hold better when I get the, the elbow on it. But you also wanna leave yourself a little bit of room on the bottom. So see those, there's those two gaskets, those O-rings, but you also need to leave yourself a little bit of room because that, a, you know, if you put that hole right at the very bottom, you're not going to be able to get that in there and it won't sit flat. So leave yourself maybe half an inch or, or more. I mean, maybe more because you want to catch any contaminants at the bottom, maybe. I don't know. But you don't want to go too far because this was pretty close to the bottom. If I'd have made it any lower, it would have been pretty hard to get this in. So here's a little bit you can see about how low that was. And now I'm gonna Teflon that up. I'm gonna put the O-rings on there and put the elbow on. All right, so now you can see I have that O-ring there. I probably put it on a little bit too tight because it's starting to bulge, but we'll see if I need to back off of it some. And voila. So this filter, the housing, the pipes and everything's a little bit heavy and it definitely would tear up that hole there where that's put in. So I put this bungee on there, hooked it to the wire handle that's on there and that's actually holding pretty good it's not too tight not you know not too uh, loose it actually lifts it up just a little bit which is okay and then to keep the bucket on the sawhorse when i'm messing with this i put another bungee on the back you'll see here that just goes around the bottom of this homemade sawhorse and that's holding the bucket and everything just fine so when i pour into that it should do quite well Probably wondering what this reusable bag here. This is just a reusable HEB bag, these grocery bags. And this one had a broken handle, so I ended up taking the rest of the handles off, but they work pretty good for filters for five gallon buckets. If you take this bag and you turn it over and you cover 
the top of this bucket with it. Then you can push it down into the bucket a little bit to give you, you know, a little bit of holding space for the oil. So now that you see it, I hope it makes a lot more sense. So I put the bag on it upside down. I put these, I call them welding clamps, whatever, clamps on here. And there's a rim on these buckets down here. These clamps, if you push them all the way down, fit perfect right underneath that lip. So they hold these bags on actually pretty tight. And now you have like some space to pour oil in here and let it slowly drain through there because it doesn't go through really quickly, but it doesn't take forever, you know, if the oil's mostly clean. So I'm gonna put a bucket down there, pour some oil in there, and let's see how well it does. I poured some old oil in there. I don't know which piece of equipment this came out of, but it ain't pretty oil. But again, it's not, it shouldn't be really dirty. It's just used, really used. So that is gonna slowly, I don't know if you can see right now, but it's slowly dripping through that filter. And you can see it's dropped down about an inch already. It's slowly dripping through there. It's slowly gonna drip into this bucket. And then I'm assuming it's gonna slowly drip through this filter and down into this bucket. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and I'll come back and uh, check on this, let you guys see it. And there it goes. It's definitely still pretty dark. I was kind of hoping it would lighten up more. Of course, some pretty dark oil that was in there, but it's pouring out of here. I'm gonna put a better downspout on that or I'll lift the bucket up, but that's it. And as you can see, here's this. There actually was some junk in one of those buckets of oil there was some clunky stuff that came out. So this should catch it here in this bag and then filter that down into here. But it's not a quick process. It's probably gonna take a little while for it to fill that bucket up. But I mean, at least I know it's oil that's been through a filter. All right, so it took a little while for it to pour in that much, but it did it now. It's pretty dark. I'm gonna let that sit. I mean, it's filtered. Technically, it's filtered through that filter, so I'm going to let that sit for a few days and see if that does anything or if it just stays nasty and black. Now, these are diesel engines, so there's probably some, you know, real lightweight particles in there that make that black, but you can see that there's still some oil here. Not a lot, but there is some in there, and it's taken forever to go through, so I'm just going to let that sit. It's probably some pretty dirty stuff. Either that or it's collected a lot of dirty stuff on the bottom and it's no longer filtering well. But those bags do pretty good for filtering. And that's it. So, hey, if this sparked any ideas, you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find this video. And if you haven't done so yet, if you would hit that red subscribe button right below the video. And that's all I got today, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Everyone take care.